My uh, name is Dan Lundy, and uh, my uh, parents had the opportunity to buy a parcel of land, which is where we are now. I wasn't very impressed. I wasn't uh, all that interested. But my dad was, he loved uh, what he could do with this land, so he farmed it. He raised some grain and he raised uh, some hay. And then he did something I thought was kind of silly. About 23 years ago, my dad on his John Deere tractor and my mom on the back with a tree planter planted these almost 19 acres. So really the story of this uh, with my excitement happens literally two years ago when my dad says you need to manage this property because it's going to be yours. And all of a sudden my interest uh, and my love for this property uh, changed dramatically. I imagined that this property could be a little uh, sort of slice of natural heaven. I hope for a place maybe where uh, my family and, and grandkids could come and just camp and, and have a wonderful time. My dad was pretty certain that he would lose perhaps a third of the seedlings that he planted. What actually happened is that virtually all of the seedlings he planted, every single one grew. So this property was overstocked way overstocked, but it left the ground underneath sterile, just dirt. Wouldn't it be wonderful for us to place some, some native plants down there so that they could actually begin to thrive and we could get some diversity of some um, wonderful looking structure a place for uh, insects and birds and uh, small, small mammals. The challenge was um, blackberries, trees way too close together, and poison oak everywhere. Um, what we had here was truly uh, a disaster in the making. So I went to work and it was a challenge. Uh, on the suggestion of another state agency, I call um, Soil and Water. Mm -hmm. And uh, the first time that uh, someone came out and looked at the property and they heard my sort of silly vision uh, they took mercy on me, realizing that it could never happen without um, a lot of help. And um, with foresters, foresters and loggers and conservationists, uh, this property is starting to take shape. The cooperation and enthusiasm of everybody involved has really been uh, exciting for me personally and for my brother as well. <laughs>